hi everyone welcome to my channel so today I'm going to show you how I do my DIY relaxer at home I'm going to show you how I go from this to this now I've been relaxing my hair myself for quite a few years now probably since I was about 12 13 um, I've always done my hair myself ever since I was about around that age actually so relaxing my hair was probably the first step and then I moved on to cane rowing and doing hair for other people now the relaxer that I use um, is called Perfective Mega Growth. The normal one that I normally use is um, the four pack which comes with the shampoo, the gloves um, and it also comes with the strengthener and that container that you see. But I actually prefer to buy the six pack which is just touch ups. So um, the four pack is also touch up and all these extra bits and pieces but with the six pack you actually get two extra touch ups which I prefer because I already have my own shampoo at home anyway and I have um, you know a whole bunch of different hair products that I can use so I don't necessarily need to buy the four pack the six pack is more economical form for me so um, with the four pack I actually bought the regular um, option there's a regular and a coarse the regular one is yellow and white and the coarse is pink and white but I didn't really see a problem in mixing it which is why you see this uh, mixture in the container so the coarse one is the pink and white one and that's the new pack that I have so I had to mix it with the regular because I have a big head so uh, one touch up pack is not enough so I have to mix one and a half now um, here's a good tip for you if you're looking to um, mix your own shampoo yourself you can always cut it in half don't mix it staple it and then put it in the fridge to use later on which is what I I normally do now I've also um, outlined the you know perimeter of my scalp um, around the back and around my forehead over my ears and around the back of my neck I've already applied Vaseline and that just protects my scalp from the relaxer um, you know obviously I'm applying it myself so I'm more prone to mistake anyway so at least if I get relaxer where it shouldn't be it's not gonna burn my skin so now I just need to untangle my my hair um, so my hair has been due for relaxing for about two months now I've actually been a bit lazy so I haven't had time to relax it and I have about one centimeter of new growth I also prefer to separate my hair into two um, sections so normally I do it into four sections I used to do it like that for a long time even you know on the instructions of the relaxer it'll tell you to part it into four sections but because I've been doing this for a while I actually find it easier it's less work for me to part it into two and then just um, part it from the front all the way to the back and just apply the relaxer as I go along So when I apply the relaxer and I start from the front and also take into account, you know, you know, your scalp and how sensitive your scalp is. Now, I don't have much hair around um, on my edges because I'm in the process of growing, growing out my edges again. So I don't apply the relaxer right close up to my edge. I actually take it just about one centimeter away from the edge of my hair. And then I also apply it down the center parting as I go along. So you can see that I'm not taking it right up to the edge of my hairline <clears throat> and I'm gonna go back to that later because that area is more sensitive so I'm just gonna apply in straight lines or as straight as a line as I can get it and as you can see I'm applying it on both sides of the parting so I'm not just applying it and parting and applying it and parting I'm applying it to both sides and that's really important to make sure the relaxer gets onto every area of a um, new growth that you have So if you just continue applying it in a straight line, at was well, straight as line as you can get it, and as you can see there, I've skipped my edge um, just there. So I'm gonna go back to that area again, again because I don't have enough hair there. I don't want to apply relaxer to my scalp. So I'm just gonna go back as far as I can, and then I'm gonna come back and I'll show you what the whole um, what my whole head will look like. So exactly what I've done to this side is what I'm gonna do to the other side. So obviously there's no point in showing you that. It's basically like watching paint dry so um, here is the finished result so I've applied it all around and I've also filled in my edges um, again it's up to you if you want to really catch all the baby hairs but to be honest this is enough for me anyway but if your hair is really really coarse you can take it right up to your hairline and because you've got that Vaseline your skin is protected and as you can see from the back as well I've gotten as far down as I can without getting it onto my neck and again if you find that you've got relaxer on you know your your ear or on your neck just wipe it off again you've got the Vaseline to protect your your skin and your scalp anyway so you should be fine 
So once you've applied the relaxer, actually I was just gonna comb through it, but I forgot to smooth the relaxer out with my fingertips. So this is really important again. So once you've applied it with a brush, um, you're just gonna smooth it out just to make sure that the relaxer is evenly spread throughout your roots. And again, it's important not to spread the relaxer too far up your hairline or up your hair because those areas of your hair have already been relaxed anyway. So um, you don't really wanna take the relaxer too far up. So here I'm just going to start combing out in sections, in large sections and you want to work quickly because at this point, well depending on your scalp, this might start tingling a bit and you don't really want it to tingle or start burning. So um, here I'm just going to comb through the roots of my hair just to make sure that the relaxer is easily um, spread out and also to test whether or not it, my hair is fully relaxed because um, if it's combing through it easily then I know that my hair is straightened and it's you know basically ready to be washed through So here I'm just going to take a section of my hair at the front just to comb through it or actually rather just to show you that the hair is actually straight so you can see at the roots that it's straight and once you're um, sure then you can go ahead and wash the relaxer out. Again you can use the relax the shampoo that comes with the pack if you have the four pack or you can use your own shampoo as long as it's a neutralizing shampoo and that's really important. Don't just use a regular shampoo, you have to use a neutralizing shampoo because the um, relaxer is obviously a chemical so you want to make sure that your hair is back to its normal pH level. So here I'm just showing you the um, Dream Kids African Pride um, mm -hmm. Detangler and I'm also showing you the um, cream, what do you call it, strengthener that comes with the relaxer kit. And I think I also showed you the conditioner from the same um, brand, uh, which is African Pride. So I'm, I'm fully aware that this is um, a brand for kids, but I love the smell and I have no shame. So um, I have no problem in using something that's meant for kids as long as it does the job well and it smells really nice and it you know basically conditions my hair and detangles i have no problem and plus it means my baby my baby can use it with me as well so yeah um so now i'm just applying my organics smoother and polisher um i've always used this i've used this for many many years and it definitely helps when i'm blow drying my hair it stops it being too frizzy and it helps straighten it out as well so once my hair is blow dried um you can actually see what it looks like so it still looks a bit a little bit coarse but it's up to you if you want to, you know, put your hair in a ponytail and then, you know, you're ready to go. But at this point, you know, I'm going to straighten my hair because um, I'm actually sick of putting my hair into a ponytail. So I've decided to straighten my hair and wrap it and basically leave it down for a while just to at least um, give my hair a break from, you know, all the tension, the tension from putting it in a ponytail constantly. So here I'm just parting my hair into four rough sections and I've got my straightener already heated up and that was my oil and um, so that's my proprietary blend. I'm not going to tell you what's in it yet um, so I'm going to make another video on that and I've um, made a lot of progress with this oil so this oil is excellent, it's what I use now and it's basically it's basically the lazy girl's guide to greasing her scalp so um, I don't use hair creams anymore <clears throat> ever since, um, excuse me, ever since I've um, started using oils for my hair. So now I'm just gonna change where I've actually parted my hair. So I decided to start from the front just so I can show you guys how I straighten my hair. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing that I make sure I do is that the parting is quite um, consistent. So it's about just under an inch or so between each part, or at least no, no thinner than a centimeter. So, um, cause my hair right now is obviously freshly relaxed. So it's quite thin. Um, and I don't need to basically make the parting any thinner. You know, in a couple of weeks, my hair will go back to its normal fullness anyway. Um, so what I usually find is when I freshly relax my hair, it's a little bit thinner, but then after like one or two washes, then it, you know, goes back to its normal thickness. So right now I'm just gonna start straightening my hair in sections. And as you can see, as I'm parting it, I'm also um, oiling my scalp, so I don't need to go back and do that later. I found that this is a lot easier, or it's a lot more methodical. It makes sense in my head anyway. Um, so as I'm parting it, I'll just oil it, so I know I've oiled it. I can forget about that, you know, that bit of my hair, straighten, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. move on to the next section. And as I'm straightening my hair, you can see that I'm actually curling the end just to um, put a little bit of a curl 
on the hair once it's straightened so I don't want it to be completely straight I want it to curl in a bit just like it would be if I had put my hair in rollers so this will definitely make my hair um, a little bit more volum voluminous um, so by doing this I can give myself a nice little bob um, and then once I've finished straightening my hair in sections then I can just comb it um, into what do you call it wrap my hair and then because I've straightened it in this way then I should have um, basically like I don't know what to call it um, it'll look like it's been bumped a little bit so it'll give it a bit more volume So as I straighten each section, I actually wrapped it into a little bun just to keep the curl a bit. But I didn't actually realise it was going to go a bit wavy like this, but it's okay. Um, once I comb it out, then you know it 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 looks the way it should, so it's fine. But um, this just basically helps me keep the sections away from each other. It makes it easier to manage once um, everything is straightened. So now I'm just combing my hair out and I'm just going to prepare it to um, be wrapped. But before I wrapped it, I actually decided to trim off the ends a bit. I had a few scatty ends. Um, and obviously because I'm going to wear my hair in a bob, it's going to be more obvious. Or at least to me anyway. So um, I decided to just trim off about an inch and a bit. Um, just from the front and the back as well. It's just a loose trim. It's not detailed in any way. I mean, I'm not a professional hairdresser or anything. And I've, also, I've, I've always um, trimmed my hair myself or cut my hair myself. So um, this this is just the way that I do it so I just comb it out into a, a little bowl cut type thing and then I just comb my hair out and use the one section to guide me to cut the next and I work my, my way around my head So now before I actually wrap the hair, I'm just working the oil into my scalp and just massaging my scalp a little bit. So um, to wrap your hair, it's actually really easy. All you need to do is basically start from the middle of your head and comb your hair out into a kind of bowl cut, as if you're gonna do a bowl cut. I don't know how, how, how else to um, describe the method. So just watch what I'm doing and just comb your hair out and then start combing it into one direction as you comb it around. So keep combing your hair around and use one hand to hold the hair in place. Now, I can understand if your hair is you know, silky, it might be harder to do, you might wanna do it in sections or maybe pin it as you go along. But because my hair um, is a lot more pliable, I can just comb it. And because it's also freshly relaxed as well, I find my hair listens to me. I tell it to do something and it does it. So um, I find it very easy to do what I want with it. So as you can see, it's actually really easy to comb um, um, to wrap um, so I just comb it out and then once it's done I'll just use a brush and I'll use that to smooth my edges because once it's laid like this um, you really want it to basically be in the way that you want it to be um, you don't want to just comb it and then just put a scarf on it because if there are any crinkled edges it's gonna just set those crinkled edges in there so you just want to make sure your hair is nice and smooth and as close to your scalp as possible um, if I was in a salon I'd probably sit under you know a, a, what do you call it a hairdryer and oh you know an overhead hair dryer but I don't have that so I'm just going to leave my hair as it is I'm just going to put a scarf on it um oh side note as well if you did actually have a at home hood dryer that would be a lot easier it actually makes your um the wrap last a lot longer but as I don't I'll just make do with what I have so now um, I've actually left my hair for about an hour but again for you if, you if you don't have that much time just at least put a scarf on it for a few minutes just let it set a bit and then you can take it off and comb your hair out So then you can start combing it out again into the desired style and for me this is just you know what i chose to do with my hair um, that day so i just combed it out and smoothed down my edges but i also used the brush to just smooth down my edges on the other side as well even though it wasn't on show um, so i'm just using the comb to brush out my hair um, into a bob And this is what I like to do with my hair when it's freshly relaxed. Um, and then in a few weeks when the new growth comes in, I'll probably change my hairstyle anyway. But um, again, this is the final look. Um, hope you enjoyed watching this video. 
and I will leave you to watch the rest of it. There isn't really much else anyway. I'd love to hear your thoughts, um, whether or not you like your hair yourself at home or whether you go to the salon to get it done. Um, yeah, so um, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and have a blessed day and week and I will leave you to it. So I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, bye.